Welcome back. Now, I hate to break it to you, but this may be Glenn's final episode. What we've heard is true, and the people we're sent to kill are missile launcher wielding raiders. I don't know how we're blocking against that. I don't think Glenn's uh, reliable green armor is going to defend against a dang missile. But I guess we'll find out. Let's get into the game. Let's get to it. Just another day. Going back, guys. Who are you heading off to, Liddy? Careful if hey. you go off the road. Oh, you got somewhere to be. Hey, hit it. Oh, what the hell are you doing? I know you're going to die painful. I mean, you got stung. Let's distribute the weight. Listen, I only got one anti venom, so go ahead and use it. I said, use it. Y'all stupid or something. Mmm, now that feels good. Oh, don't say it like that. Yeah. Let's see what you got. Well, whatever. You're gonna be all right. Just one sting from a baby, no less. Ain't that powerful? What I'm real worried about is a sting from a damn missile. It'll be coming up soon. Take these things. We got more of them, watch yourself. You think anyone's ever gonna learn not to fuck with us? Okay. All right, cool. Damn. This ain't fucking no man's land. I don't know what. Oh, stop using all my ammo, though. Nice one, Eddie. Damn, things are fast.
You tweaking? Anything no, no. moves, it's gonna get it. It's real. The hell was that? Oh, I remember these things. And these damn things before. And a swamp creature. Out here. Picked up a radio. I really don't want to get sidetracked, but damn it, somebody's in danger. It's decided. We're gonna help this fella. Okay. Camp Guardian Daily Law. Sergeant Banner report. We're making good headway cleaning up the paths with only the 12 of us i'm amazed we've moved this much rock in such a short time hill and i made it to the top yesterday survey team was right guardian peak has one hell of a view we still have a lot of work ahead of us i sent our runner to bravo to request a radio from the character there isn't much point in having an overwatch camp here if it takes us at least an hour to sprint to Bravo and report it. To report a Legion assault. Huh. It was just some sort of Legion overlook. Wonder if the Legion found out. A3. This place is a mess. Most of the old hiking trails are buried in landslides. The rest is so dusted, you can't tell which direction you're supposed to go. I don't know what the hell the survey team was thinking when they said this was a strategically sound location. At least we were issued plenty of rations, and the river has plenty of fresh water. We could eat for months. Let's hope tomorrow brings some headway cleaning this place up. Got another one here. Day 18. We finally got the radio from the carrot. I've set it up on the peak so anyone on Overwatch duty could quickly radio in if the Legion makes a move. I'd like to know which genius back of command decided to send a squad to this location and didn't think to give us a radio so we could actually call in an attack. Probably another politician's son. <laughs> the hell is that? Uh, oh, oh, uh, there's, there's that bunker we're supposed to go to. We'll finish up here and, and head on. Yeah, you thought, you fucking thought. What the fuck was that? 
Go ahead and kill that rat for me. Don't ain't wasting ammo on it. Not even slowing it down. Think they ran? Probably cats and dang animals. I see jacket. Jack. Moves, it's gonna get it. And then the fight started. See something. All right. Everything's leading us into this cave here. Could use a drink. Oh, not a damn thing. Maybe we just get sidetracked for no reason at all. Start to rethink this rescue operation. Yeah, Eddie. Well, I'll see it through. At least for the next couple of hours. Nothing turns up. We're heading off. Kill that son of a bitch with a rocket launcher. So it weren't there. Must be some other way to hit up the mountain. Ah, uh, this looks like it. You know you're gonna die painful. Day 12. We managed to get the rest of the path cleared. Pre-war fencing was mostly intact. 
we were able to set it up as a makeshift barrier on the more, more dangerous cliffs. I hope none of those jarheads fall off. We found a few cave entrances as we were clearing rubble that led back to each other. Just a single collapsed path which appears to lead down into the mountain. The damn survey team didn't mention any caves. I hope we don't find any more little surprises. This is supposed to lead up to anyhow. Ah, right, here we go. a lot of critters around. I got something just for him. Fireball! Eat it! Eat it. That in a moment. Got rats to roast. And then the fight started. Hell yeah. Wasteland wizard strikes again. Definitely use them. Knocks. Where was that boat I saw? <laughs> oh well. Logs here. Three. Managed to shovel most of the debris up to the first bridge. This thing looks like a wreck. Thankfully there are a few wooden shacks around and we can dismantle for scrap to rebuild. I just hope we don't run out of scrap before we finish the trail. Jax says he heard some kind of howling the other night. Sounded like the wind to me. Day 13. It's been almost a week. There's still no sign of, of a radio from McCarran. I'm sending a runner to Bravo to see if they can spare a handheld or any of the radio gear until McCarran can get around to sending the gear out requested. I swear those dumb bastards back at command expect us to use carrier pigeons or something. Day 20. Most recent date. More surprises. Collins came across the cave entrance right behind our damn tent. Survey team should have caught this they had done a thorough job. I had no idea if anything's in there. 
but we don't have the manpower to deal with any serious pests. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have some choice words for Burke the next time I see him. This isn't the first time that idiot skipped over details when surveying an area. I hope to God we're not sitting on some kind of nest. I'm going to send in Franks and Collins to scout the caves tomorrow. We have to we use explosives to collapse it. <laughs> well, it don't look like they did. If it was a nest of rats, I don't see it taken out a... Guess oh, I'm fish food. What do you mean by that? Fish food. What are you talking about? Left all these supplies behind. Ain't like NCR to tell you that. You mean fish food like they fell off? You think they fell off? Uh, that's unlikely. More likely, whatever lives in this cave took them. Seems out there's blood there. Yep. Brace yourselves. the cave. Yep. Turns out they did not. Got fish man. Ogre. Oh, thank God. I didn't think I'd ever see another human face down here. I heard your radio broadcast. I'm here to help. Thank God. I hoped someone would come eventually, but where are the rest of your men? This is it, buddy. Shit. Do you have any damn idea what lives in these caves? We need to get out of we need to go now. Are you okay? I managed to kill that thing, but not before it mangled my leg all up. No way I'm walking out of here like this. I've been keeping quiet and hoping they don't realize one of their buddies is missing. We need to get out of here before they come back. I'm guessing these things killed the other troopers. Unless something else did. I don't know, some kind of man-fish freak like the one I killed over there. I'd heard fishermen spin old tales of lake lurks swimming in the water, but I always thought they were just bullshit mermaid stories. Oh no, I seen them. Well, aside from that one, I seen them around on my way here, actually. Here, I got this here doctor's bag. Thanks a lot, Doc. I think I should be able to walk out of here now. I don't want to risk running into a pack of those freaks alone, though. Could you escort me out of here? You're free to go. I cleared the way up. Great. I'll start heading back to California now. I'm not about to let myself get killed by future NCR incompetence. Well, take care of yourself. If you find my friends, please return their dog tags to the NCR. People need to know what happened here. If they won't listen, do what you can to make them listen. The dead need to be avenged. Good luck to you. Huh. Well. 
Good deeds must be done. Clear out this cave. just in case somebody get buried under it <laughs> and abscond with their gear you know what I'm saying show themselves. Yeah, better run. Uh, them, not us. Yeah, no shit. Like we got bodies below. Caravan of two now. Uncomfortable taking meat from them, but you see a juicy loin, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get it. You know what I'm saying? trails leading this way
recon. Glad that's over. Special gun. That sound. Oh, hear this. care of the special one must have been their leader or something queen maybe some sort of alpha yeah it looks a tie Also got it this year with weapon. Rifle sometime. Here is pure. I'll be a bit tainted by the dead bodies and such. Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo and whiskey. Rap's pretty good. As good as mine, no. Hmm. Bit fishy, but but it's pure. It's pure. Deep water. Well, it just so happens I don't need to be afraid of this no more. Any ammo? What do you say, Eddie? Think I can still handle it? You're right. Yes. I I don't feel like taking the truck around. Hell with it. You know what? Don't stay out of here. No, no, I mean it. Sitting tight. Yeah, yeah. Enough with the jokes.
All right, now I know I say this sometimes, but uh, you know, if I don't come back from this one, they'll take all the caps, sell all the stuff in the truck, and, and make your lives flush. I mean it. Good luck to you. Come, buddy. It's an ambush. Adios, bitch. Time to gain a level. Got more up in the rafters. There he is. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Confused, they're confused. They don't know what's going on. It's perfect. Okay. Okay, Todd. Now, don't get crazy now. Don't keep on making, taking pop shots on them. Whoa. Damn it, Todd, no! you do it, Todd, but you're a fucking genius. You drew them all out. What's left of these few cutters over there? I'm trying to get a, a pinpoint view on them. Careful now. You who? Up here, big boy. Oh, Hold shit. on, give me one second here. And... Boop! What, what'd you do? Oh, nothing much. Just fancy a little force field that'll stop you from getting any silly ideas about running back out the way you've come in. So, you've got no way back and no way forward. That doesn't involve my boys raining down rockets on you. So, by my reckoning, you're fucked. You know, usually I reserve these missiles for sending boats to the bottom of the river. It's been a while since anyone stumbled into our HQ. Are you, uh... Woody, Woody Hardman, I, I heard of you. I, I heard all about you. Why, yes I am. I guess you're a headhunter then. If you were a fan, you'd know that I'm not illegally allowed to call myself Woody Hardman anymore. Oh well, I'd feel a little guilty turning one of my fans into a smear on the floor. So this works just fine for me. But why aren't you allowed to call yourself that anymore? Because that's a fucking stage name. Nobody would pay to watch Mitchell Rosenthal getting his rocks off for two and a half hours. I had to get myself a proper stage name when I signed up at SG Productions. But part of the contract is that they own the rights to the name. Was it good enough for that rat bastard to fire me? No. He had to get me blacklisted from the industry and steal my whole name. But that's nothing compared to the last part. When I tried to start my own studio, he put a fucking price on my fucking head! Well, fuck him! Woody by itself isn't copyrighted, and once my boys here make enough cash raiding, I'll hunt him down and cut off his head! So, uh, the whole reason you went raider is because you're pissed at your last boss? What's the deal with that, fella? No, he 
just jump-started my raider career, is all. This, this was always the life for me, yes, sir. Why are you even discussing my work history? You're just some punk that'll be dead soon anyway. You, Stan Gold, his whole fucking production company, all of them, you'll all die, so hurry up and spew your stupid last words already. Your crew should really just kill you. On account of that big price on your head. Better odds than fighting me. Oh, you think so, do you? Well, let's test that theory. Open fire, boys! Wait, I see it. I got one shot. Maybe I can knock that missile launcher out of his hand. Didn't work. Time for drugs. This was a damn mess from the get-go. That's it. I don't give a shit what happens. I ain't dying here. I'm an addict of 18 different, 18 different cams, but I'm alive, damn it. I'm alive. Hey, Ty, w wake up, Ty. Ty? Right, wake up, buddy. Well, God bless you, Top. Yo, I just black out. <laughs> buddy! <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're made of, but damn it. I'm glad you're alive, fella. I ain't never gonna shit talk you again, I swear. Holy hell. Really bungle that up. <laughs> my, 
my damn body has like 60% stem pack right now. I'm fucking bouncing off the walls. I gotta admit, I am kind of curious. This tape contained a staggeringly awful porno. Apparently, when he wasn't busy doing bad things, he was trying to break back into the porn industry. Huh. Well, dead as dirt now. Seems to be a good thing for everyone. Pathetic display. Couldn't be me. Now I really thought that whole thing would go differently, buddy. But at least I ain't dead. Watch out! You know, that really would have been something if he just popped my head off right there. Come on, y'all. Let's roll it. What am I looking like here? Oh, what's going on with my HP? Sort of invisible sure, over here. Drink. Little bush. Looks like it's got a bunch of goodies on it. I got it. Y'all, I'm about, I'm about ready to retire from this business, I swear. Outflow some junk. All right, take some of this. Right. Don't touch my fucking turbo. Let's get the hell out of here.
listen just just say yes or no are we done I finished it I killed the guy just uh, don't go on a damn tirade about your about how you like women or whatever hey uh, still stowing away on my boat huh I dealt with that idiot. You won't have to worry about him again. <laughs> and so endeth anyone that fires rockets at my fucking boat. Did he cry? Did he beg? <laughs> Probably both, eh? He didn't cry. But he's definitely dead. Well, that's goddamn good enough for me. <laughs> Wish I could have seen his face. Oh well, fuck him. Here, an extra something. Just cause I like it when I demand someone dies, and it happens. Well, that's it then. Nothing else. Hmm, for the most part. Wouldn't mind having a second eye again. That was the big one, anyway. With that dumb fucker out of my hair, I can get back to moving drugs up and down the Colorado like some kind of degenerate criminal Santa Claus. Already late on some of these deliveries, so I'll be raising anchors pretty soon after you're gone. Great. I never want to interact with you ever again. Well, catch you later then. Absolutely Maybe. not. Absolutely not. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever. Get the hell out of here and into the truck. Along the way, Glenn found a deceased Deathclaw with its hands and horns missing. A dozen laser burns crisscross. Uh, crisped and crossed across its chest and face. Interesting. I don't know about y'all, but I need a fucking rest. Let me take my ass a nap for the next six to eight hours. After that, I'm going to seriously reconsider what I'm doing with my loadout. Anyway. That's going to be it for this episode. <laughs> that fight was a mess. <laughs> but at least he didn't die. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I guess I'll see you next time with another episode of Glenn's story. Survivor continues. Thanks again. Adios.